Margot Martindale is back in the Emmy race this year for her portrayal of Congresswoman Bella Abzug in the FX limited series, Mrs. America. She's also a three-time Emmy winner for Justified and The Americans. I'm Charlie Bright of Gold Derby and Margot joins us today. And the first question I wanna ask is, uh, how familiar were you specifically with Bella Abzug uh, before taking on this role? Uh, I knew of her. I knew all, because I live in New York City uh, on the Upper West Side, and I'd, I'd, uh, she was in the news. She was in, in the uh, newspapers, pictures of her, uh, clips of her. Uh, I, I knew she was loud and wore hats. I knew that she was um, uh, fighting for uh, uh, great causes, uh, gay rights and uh, anti-war and... Um, I didn't know much about the ERA, and I and I, it was a complete education to me getting to learn about Bella and about all of the political things surrounding her. And that actually goes into my next question because I was curious about as to whether you were uh, active in the women's movement uh, during that time, or were, I'm guessing you were busy also just trying to get auditions at the time. <laughs> I was, I came to New York, uh, I went, came from Texas to University of Michigan. I did a, a professional job at Harvard and then found some people there that were, lived in New York and moved to New York with them in 1974. So my, uh, my whole thrust was getting a job and, you know, surviving and, uh, you know, uh, making a living whatever way I could. Uh, I, I was pretty singularly minded and I, you know, uh, I'm glad about that. And I'm also, you know, sort of missed out on something. So not very involved. Um, so when, uh, was there anything about Bella that you found yourself really identifying with as you started uh, uh, looking her up, researching her and portraying her? Well, that she was fearless and that she was, uh, I don't know that I'm not fearless, but uh, I, I, I love that about, I don't think there was a lot, in, I don't think I had a lot in common with Bella. I, I ha she has, she is extremely, uh, was extremely smart and, and uh, extremely fast thinking. I'm a very reflective thinker She's absolutely the, she thinks on the word and she knows what she's saying. Me, I could say the wrong thing, think about it and go, oh, no, no, that's what, not, not what I mean. Uh, so um, she was almost the opposite of me. So uh, Even though people think of me that way. I'm so not. <laughs> but then that, that again, that's why they call it acting. I guess so, I guess so. So uh, I want to also just turn a little bit uh, to um, uh, the another uh, a role that sadly uh, came to an end this year, uh, your portrayal of character actress Margot Martindale on BoJack Horseman, uh, which has been which was so fun to watch. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious as to what was your experience like playing this wonderfully exaggerated version of yourself? <laughs> that was it was wildly fun. You know, I was. Uh, Mar that Margot Martindale is absolutely fearless. And uh, after I first came on, and I think it was my second or third, Bill, do you remember if it was second or third Emmy? Second, third, third. Uh, after I won uh, that, that Emmy for the Americans, uh, I, we were just, we had time to kill and Bill was looking up Wikipedia and seeing what they said there. And it said, uh, Margo Martindale has spent the last year in prison for, <laughs> for armed robbery. Thank you, Bojack Horseman. <laughs> you can't buy that kind of publicity. <laughs> We quickly got it taken down, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if somebody thought that actually that was what I where I had been. I don't know, or it was somebody's wild, wonderful uh, comedy. I I I I think they may have mistook it for an animated documentary. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, uh, I, I'm curious, how did uh, your, because it seems like you really have a good relationship with Raphael Bob Waxberg. How did that uh, uh, relationship develop? I'm sorry, what? Oh, how did the relationship with Raphael Bob Waxberg uh, develop? Oh, well, I was doing a comedy on CBS with Will Arnett, and, and, and I was also promoting, at the same time, August Osage County, the movie. And, and I was learning how to do a three-camera or four-camera comedy that I le learned somewhat. And, um, and, and Will said, and I was extremely busy because I spent most of my time working on lines for the, because you had to be so fast. Uh, and also doing this press for August. But Will said, you're gonna come do my cartoon. I said, I don't have time to do a cartoon. He said, yes, you are. He said, no. I said, no, I'm not. He said, yes, you are. The part is Margot Martindale, character actress. So who else is gonna play it? I said, okay, I guess I will. So I got it and then I read it and I, and you know, nobody told me anything. So I, I told Will, I think after he, he send it to me or they send it to me. I said, well, I had just have to say, all of these characters seem like animals. He said, they are animals, you idiot. <laughs> so that's how I got introduced. Um, I, I'm, I'm curious about something else, you know, um, you know, you've done a lot of, uh, you've done a lot of work over uh, film and television, but you also uh, have a great background in uh, theater. You're a Tony nominee uh, for a production of uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Uh, that makes me wish I had been going, I had been traveling to New York back in, what was that, 2003, I think that was when uh, that production was going on. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, um, uh, do you, is uh, getting back into uh, uh, theatrical, uh, actual, you know, stage theater roles something that you would want to uh, uh, get back into whenever, you know, we you get, know what? Uh, Charlie, I'd love to do it again. It, it's my, it was my love and my passion. And I, and, and I, I, um, I love the audience. Um, I love television and movies. I love the, uh, quiet of them. I love that they go inside your head, that you don't have to talk. It's very hard to do that on stage. Uh, so, uh, yes, I hope I get to do it again. I hope the opportunity happens, uh, the right one. So, um, you know, your career has taken such, has taken such an incredible path over the past decade specifically. And I'm curious as to whether you find yourself looking at your career any differently than you did, you know, say 15 years ago. I just sort of tried to keep going forward and take the next job. Most of the time, that's what I was doing, taking the next job. Now I see that I don't have to take the next job. I get to choose usually, I mean, I'm so fortunate right now that I get to choose what jobs I take. That's a very different, place than I was 15 years ago. Uh, so uh, did I ever think I would be here? I never, I never doubted myself. Did I think this is where it would be? I, ha I don't think that I thought. I just, I never doubted myself. I, and that's not being arrogant. That's just being who, who I, who I was as a young woman, as a kid. And, uh, and I guess that's something that God gave me. So, uh, God. Uh, so your win, uh, your your Emmy win for Justified uh, is still one of my favorite Emmy wins of all time. Uh, I'm just wondering if you could take us back to that night and what it was like to hear your name called and get up on that stage of that whole experience. Oh, Charlie, it was like an out of body experience. I'm sitting next to my husband. And I'm and the on the other side is Tim uh, Oliphant, uh, Tim and Walton and I I think were all nominated that year, uh, and um, I uh, said to Bill, I leaned to Bill and I said, Bill, if you if I win, I don't think I will, but if I do, will you help me on this stage? He said, 
I, I know I'm not going to do that. And Tim, I leaned over to Tim and said, Tim, if I, I know that, I mean, I don't think I win, but if I did, would you help me up? He said, oh no, I can't do that. So I fell up the stairs. <laughs> well, thank goodness, because Ashton Kutcher helped yes, you up Ashton there. Ashton Kutcher was my knight in shining armor. Um, and then I got up there, and, 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 it, and then I didn't even know where I was. I was just, you know, up in the sky. I was barely, my feet were barely on the ground. Maybe that's why I fell. And you had one of my favorite uh, lines in an acceptance speech uh, when you said, some things just take time. Well, you know what? That came to me on the spot, and that was the truth. <laughs> So, so you know, um, you're, you're back in the Emmy race this year, and um, I'm wondering if, you know, being a part of the Emmy race, you know, has, it has become kind of a regular thing for you these days. Does it ever get old, or is it something that you get used to, or does it still thrill you to get that kind of recognition? Thrill. It still thrills me. It's, it's, it's thrilled me so much because, you know, I'm just, I am just, uh, honored to be among these women. And I'm, that's the truth. I feel like I've won being nominated. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, television is crowded these days. So, uh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited and not uh, wishing for anything, but, you know, I'm just happy about the nomination. And one other question I, I meant to ask a little earlier, and I forgot to, uh, is, um, you know, the, the the cast of Mrs. America is such a wonderful ensemble. It's a fantastic uh, group. I, it's, I think it's one of the best of the year, and definitely one of the best of the past several years, I actually think. And what I'm curious is, you know, you even with, you know, all the interaction you had with so many great, you know, performers, uh, you were, there were other performers that you didn't really have that much contact with. Um, That's true. It, if, are there any that you wish uh, you had gotten maybe a scene or more with? Well, Kate and I really wished we'd had a scene together. I know we, we, we passed each other going in and out of an office. I think that was about it. And say, said maybe a word. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I regret that. Of course, I did get to act with uh, Sarah. Uh, so that was fun. And we're old friends. So that was great. Uh, you know what? This was the most supportive group of women that I've ever been around. Everybody wished for the best in each other. And um, there was no competition. It was just an, an unusually fantastic experience. And that, I mean, producers, actors, or actresses, which is what I say. Uh, and, um, and, oh, and then there's John. Uh, but, um, uh, but also uh, directors, and uh, and there's Ryan. Uh, but it, it was this the, all the way down the line. Hair people, makeup, Paula, and you know Tish. It, they were just all just greatly supportive, and we all were working toward one thing together. It was uh, it felt very much like a women's movement. Well, that's certainly something that we could definitely use these days. And uh, it is absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, Margo, thank you so much for joining Charlie, us. Charlie, it's a, just so much fun talking to you. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure. Um, we wish you all the best for this upcoming Emmy season. And to all of our viewers, please like this video, subscribe to our channel to get our latest content, and don't forget to go to goldderby.com and use the Gold Derby app to make your predictions and see if you can outsmart the top prognosticators in Hollywood. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.